Hello, good day. For today, I will be discussing about mangroves. There are three species of mangroves that I will talk about today. We will know their family, their distribution, their morphologies, and the IUCN status of these species. First one is the Scyphifera hydrophilaceae. The next one is Pamphys acidula. And the last one is Acanthus ebracteatus. For this first species of mangrove, it comes from the family Rubiaceae. Its genus is Scyphifera, and the species is Hydrophilaceae. It was discovered by C.F. Gerton, and it is commonly known as Yamstick mangrove or Nilad in vernacular. So where can we see this species of mangroves? It can be found in natural rocky shores. It is distributed in the islands of Andaman, Bismarck Archipelago, Borneo, Cambodia, Caroline Island, Hainan, India, Jawa, Lesser Sunda Island, Madagascar, Malaya, Maluku, New Caledonia, New Guinea, Northern Territory, Philippines, Queensland, Solomon Island, Sri Lanka, Sulawesi, Sumatra, Thailand, and Vietnam. Now we will know the morphology of this species. Starting with a shrub, or it is a small tree that measures up to 6 meters tall, with stilt roots. Its twigs are reddish when young, and the bark are brownish grayish black, it's ridged and fissured. The next one are the leaves. As you can see, it is hairless on both sides. It can measure from 4 to 7 centimeters by 2.4 centimeters. It has 4 to 6 pairs of veins, and the texture is leathery. It has a drop shape, broadly elliptic or commonly known as spoon shaped. It is held upright and arranged in opposite order from one another. Its color is light green. For the flowers, as you can see, it is tiny. It just measures 0 0.5 centimeters but in dense clusters, it measures 3 to 4 centimeters across. The color, as you can see, is pale pink to whitish pink. The corolla, there are four white curving lobes and a short pink tube. The nectar is secreted at the base of the tube, which is accessible to short-tongued insects. The next one is the fruit. As you can see in the pictures, it is also tiny. It measures 0.5 centimeters. It is oblong with 6 8 to ridges. And the color is first it is green, then it turns into white. The outer layer of the fruit is fleshy with a corgi inner layer. The fruit separates into two halves when ripe, and each fruit contains four or fewer seeds. The fruits float because of the spongy inner layer. And the IUCN status of this species, on 2014, it was considered as the le least concerned species of mangroves. The second species of mangrove comes from the family Lithraceae. Its genus is Pemphis, and the species is Acidula. It was discovered by J.R. Forst and G. Forst. In vernacular, it is known as bantige or mintige. So where can we find these mangrove species? As you can see in the picture, it can be found in sandy shores at or even below high water mark, inlets in mangrove forests, coral rug thicket, in areas exposed to salt spray and the drier sides of swamps, coastal limestone rocks, cliffs and on limestone bedrock outcrops on atolls. It is widely distributed along the east coast of Africa, from Somalia to Mozambique, and on the Indian Ocean Islands. It is further found on shores of tropical Asia and Australia. 
and on islands of the Pacific Ocean. Now we will know the morphology of this species. Starting with the shrub. So it is a small tree that measures 7 to 10 meters tall. According to Tomlinson, more usually a low shrub is about 1 to 2 meters tall. The bark is light gray to brown, becoming deeply fissured with age and shedding in long curling strips. Young twigs are angular and densely hairy, becoming gnarled and twisted with age. So Pemphis is a very strong tree and can withstand the harsh forces of nature. They have the ability to grow fast and can generate new roots and buds very quickly. Now let's proceed to the morphology of the leaves. It is 1 to 3 centimeters thick. It has a fleshy texture and its color is grayish green so both sides are densely covered in stiff white hairs giving them a silky look. So as it withers, it will become yellow. The next one are the flowers. As you can see in the picture, it is one centimeter thick with six white delicate petal. Lastly, the fruit that it bears. So as you can see, it has a tiny spherical capsule. The size is about 0 0.5 centimeters. And it is a green ripening to red, then it turns brown. Inside, there are 20 to 30 flattened angular seeds. The IUCN status, it was tagged as least concern and part of the red list. And for the last species of mangrove that I will be discussing today, comes from the family Acanthaceae. Its genus is Acanthus and the species is Abracteatus. It is commonly known as sea holly or Jerujo. So where can we see this species of mangrove? It is distributed along tropical Asia, tropical Australia, and Pacific. Its native habitat are the shoreline or the mangrove forest, and its preferred climate zone are the tropical, subtropical, and monsoonal islands. We will know the morphology of this species. Starting with the shrub, it is an erect or sprawling shrub with recumbent stems. It reaches up to 2 meters tall, and the roots are in tap root system. The next one are the leaves. As you can see, it is a stock leaf blade, and its shape is oblong to oval. At the position, it is opposite to one another with tooth leaves that are deeply lobed with spine tips along the leaf margin. And as you can see, it has a shiny dark green above and the color below is green. It measures from about 7.50 to 20 centimeters by 2.5 to 6.5 centimeters. The next one are the flowers. It measures up to 8 to 15 centimeters long. As you can see, there are white petals, then it turns to brown as it age. Lastly, the morphology of the fruit. So the color is green to dark green with four large flat seeds. And the shape is oblong and slightly flattened. Lastly, the IUCN status for this species is least concern. So that is all for today and see you next time.